it's the Insane Gamers, and I'm back again for another Pokemon DS Wi-Fi battle. And I'm battling just some random guy on Cerebi again. He didn't leave a name or anything, so I just call him Cerebi Guy, I don't know. Anywho, I'm using, uh, I wouldn't exactly call it a new team. What I'm doing here is using a bunch of Pokemon, seeing which ones I like, which ones work, seeing what they do. Anyway, he leads off with this thing, and I know that that guy has the ability Sturdy, so I just, just decided to U-turn with my Chinchilla, who, by the way, I love. It's like the 5th Gen Ambi Palm. It's epic. So anyway, go to this thing, um, and he uses Ankle Sweep, which I guess lowers speed, but doesn't affect me because I'm a ghost. So, this guy is, uh, not your typical jelly ghost thing. It, I actually, uh, I'm using an offensive one, and this is, this particular one is a choice specs. Uh, I'm also gonna try a choice scarf, see which ones work better, but anyway, I thought he would switch, so there I used Water Spout, um, it still did a lot, but, you know, he hit me with the Stone Edge. Anyway, I'm gonna go out to this guy. Go, go, Power Rangers! Who's gonna take that Stone Edge like a beast, because it's Steel type, and this guy's also my defensive wall. <clears throat> and I'm just gonna kill this guy with a Sucker Punch. Even though I'm quad weak to fighting, you know, I... <laughs> It's, it's kind of good that you can just sort of bait him to use a fighting attack and finish it, and, uh, you can finish him off. So anyway, uh, I've got my Go-Go Power Ranger out here now, and he sends in this thing, this darn little Porygon 2 was the bane of my existence in this battle. This was the longest battle I've ever had. What an epic Star War we had at the end, but anyway, I'm getting ahead of myself here. So I go out to my Chansey. Now, Chansey is so much better than Blissey in the 5th gen, because it gets that, um that evolution stone it gets a 50 percent boost in each of his defenses which is epic anyway he goes out to that thing which magic mirrors and then gives me my own thunder wave so i'm like Ugh, really which is just annoying i hate that ability it's just so you know it reflects stealth rocks it reflects stat lowering moves it reflects everything it's so ridiculous anywho he goes for a sub i go for a seismic toss just because i didn't really know what he was going to do uh now that i see he's got a he's got sub he's obviously baton pass in set or whatever anyway go to this guy since his only attack is most likely psychic um I can just completely wall it and it can't do anything. So obviously I'm not going to sucker punch it, because that would be stupid. I'm just going to go for an Iron Head and hope that whatever comes out, I can uh, Iron Head and break it substitute. <laughs> anyway, sends in a Victini. That kind of sucks. Iron Head doesn't break the sub, so now I'm crying. Anyway, it doesn't matter, because if that Victini's special, I've got a nice Chansey waiting for it. This Chansey, I swear, it, it's like the savior. It, I couldn't operate without this freaking Chansey, I swear, it is just awesome. So anyway, Focus Blast does, well, it's a Chansey, do I have to go into that? Okay, anyway, so now it goes for a Purgatory, um, that's basically like a Fire-type Zap Cannon, and it always burns you, which is kind of annoying, because I don't have leftovers, it's gonna cut into my HP big time, but that doesn't really matter, I'm gonna go for a Wish now, and here, um, he was probably predicting me to go out to my, uh, Water Jelly Ghost Octopus thing, but, um, I always say, uh, Chansey's priority is, uh, you know, uh, sorry, I mean, Chansey's health is always priority. I've got to get her health back up to almost full before I even think about Wish Passing. So anyway, I'm just gonna sit in here and, uh, Wish again. Just, you know, stall her a little bit and to see what this guy's trying to do. He goes for Focus Blast, misses again, whatever. It wouldn't really made any difference. So there's my wish. <clears throat> and uh, he switches out his Victini, seeing that it just is going nowhere. And I just go for the T-Wave, because I thought either he'll switch this turn, or he'll just, you know, stay in and keep Focus Blasting. Either way, somebody's getting paralyzed. And luckily, I get a Paralyze on that thing. And that Pokemon is really fast. I should know, because I'm using one. So, it's really good I got a paralysis on that. Anyway, I know he's gonna use Sweep Slap or Bullet Seed predicting me to go to my ghost, so I go to this guy who just takes a Sweep Slap. And like, y you can't slap me. I'm a go-go Power Ranger, dude. So anyway, he's gonna switch this turn, unless he has Wake Up Slap, but I don't think anybody puts Wake Up Slap on those things. Anyway, he goes back out to that thing. I'm just like, ugh! Ugh, get it away from me! I hate it! So yeah, it's gonna Swords Dance. Or I'm gonna Swords Dance, because uh, I thought he was gonna switch. So, this Go-Go Power Ranger is pretty powerful after one Sword Stance. I'm gonna go for a Sucker Punch now, just seeing what, you know, what kind of damage I can do to it. 
I guess that's a pretty respectable amount, considering how much of a beast that thing is. But anyway, hits me with a thunder. So I'm uh, going to switch now, just in case he hits me with another thunder, because I don't want to die. I'm going to go out to my Gliscor. Now, the smart thing here would have... Oh, wait. Never mind. <laughs> that comes later in the battle. I'm getting way ahead of myself. Uh, what I did... What I did there is I'm scouting to see if he has Ice Beam, so I'm going to Gliscor to see if he'll use Ice Beam, or try attack or see what his other move is. And he does have Ice Beam, so I know I can't keep Gliscor in there. And, oh my god, I get frozen by Ice Beam! What? What? The freak. Anyway, uh, I'm frozen. I could switch to get rid of it, but there's really no point in, freeze in uh, switching. One, he's using up his Ice Beam PP, which is good. And two, I'm a Chansey. He's not gonna hurt me. Obviously, his fourth move is Toxic. I know we're just entire move set now. So, yeah. Uh, I'm just gonna stay in here till I thaw out, and I've just been hitting Wish the whole time, so... You know, Porygon 2 is uh, never gonna win the Star War against the Chansey. You know, he does have Toxic, but, you know, Natural Cure. Plus, if he decides to keep using Toxic, I'll just go out to my Gliscor, who has that Poison Heal ability, which is pretty cool. So, anyway, um, I paralyze it now, just to be, you know, hoping it'll get some hacks. And what I was thinking is, uh, since he's got Ice Beam and Toxic, he can't really do much to my Go-Go -Go Power Ranger. So, I was thinking maybe we could get some Iron Head, like, Flinch, Para Flinch stuff going on. Anyway, I wish one more time just to uh, raise my Power Rangers health when he comes back out. And um, so now I'm going to switch because I'm just thinking he'll just keep using Ice Beam. I mean, he probably won't risk Thunder missing and he most likely wants to conserve the PP anyway. So he goes for another Ice Beam. It's not going to kill me because I uh, resist it. And I'm going to get all of my health back because the way Wish works in the 5th gen is it's based off of the Pokemon that first uses Wish. And it's kind of cool, so I get all my health back. Anyway, I go for an Iron Head, and uh, this one actually paralyzes it, so I don't get the flinch, but at least it's paralyzed and able to move. So I'm just going to keep using Iron Head here. Now, it would have been smart as well, um, you know, to actually Swords Dance maybe on the first turn because I would have gotten a 3-hit KO. Uh, but, you know, I guess there's nothing really you can do about that. I was just hoping I would, you know, get a flinch here. But, of course, he doesn't flinch. In fact, I don't get any flinches. I, this battle was, uh, pretty haxy. I mean, especially for me, it was very haxy towards the end. But anyway, um, he hits me with the thunder, doesn't do much, and blah, blah, blah. Just continuing on, this Porygon 2 is just, like, so annoying. So here, I decide to Swords Dance, thinking he's just gonna recover. But he actually goes for a thunder, and that sucks. And what sucks even more is the fact that he paralyzes me with the thunder that he keeps hitting me with. So now my Go Go Power Ranger is basically useless because he's paralyzed. I don't really think there's anything I can do. I just go for a final Iron Head, see how much I can do to it. It uses thunder, hits me, and I'm dead. Wonderful. Anyway, Go Go Power Ranger is now Stop Stop Pet Dead Ranger, if you want to put it that way. Anywho, so in comes this guy, and. This was the most epic thing I've ever seen. Well, apparent, you know, apart from my sweep slap missing, uh, here's where the epicness starts. This guy is like the new Ambipom, except it's more powerful than Ambipom because it has the ability Skill Link. So a sweep slap will hit five times all the time. Here comes the Rock Blast. It will hit five times all the time. Same with Seed Bomb. I mean, uh, Bullet Seed. So, yeah. This thing is just like the Ambipon of the 5th generation, and I really like it a lot. It's, it's got a, it's found a place in my heart right next to Ambipom. So, in comes, um, well, after that, like, little mini-sweep, I guess you could call it. It took out two guys, which is pretty nice. Anyway, in comes that thing, which has a bizarre nicknames, but I didn't really know what to expect from it, so I just went to my Tochikiss, and, wait, did I just avoid an icy wind? I didn't even think it could miss, but apparently it missed, so... Anywho, um, he's using Icy Wind, and I thought maybe he'd just go for, like, Psychic or something. I don't know why it did so much. I mean, that seems a little bit weird to me, but, um, did it get a power boost in the 5th gen? Because it did quite a bit. Anyway, I can't really do much if he's lowering my speed, so I'm just gonna switch back out to my Chansey, because Chansey's just laughs at, you know, it, it, <laughs> Chansey laughs at 
special attacks, some physical attacks, and any moves that cause status or reduce speed, because it's a chancy. So anyway, Magical Leaf, uh, I guess he really didn't have anything to do to me, I mean, there's no point in him switching. And comes this thing, now here he uses, uh, he traces my natural cure, and he, um, so we can get his paralysis off, which I guess was kind of good on his part, and he goes back out to this thing. So, I'm can just, you know, I'm not afraid at all. At this point, it's good game. No matter what, it's good game, because both of his last guys are special attackers, so I've got this in the bag. But, um, yeah, this game just turned into a massive star fest. It was ridiculous. Anywho, he's just setting up calm mines. I really could care less. I mean, if you're trying to set up calm mines and kill a Chansey with special attacks, you know, that's probably not the smartest thing to do, but then again, it's probably all he can do. And as predicted, his only attacking move is Psychic, so... Anyway, Psychic does nothing. Finish that guy off, and he's got one Pokemon left, which unfortunately isn't paralyzed, so... Yeah. Now, I've put it up times four, because, oh my god... G-A-W-D. This was annoying. Epic Starfest. So, <clears throat> basically, I paralyzed it. That was a really stupid move on my part. I should have just gone to my Gliscor and toxic it. It would have made the battle so much shorter. But, anyway, I put a paralyze on it. So, he's gonna toxic me, so I can't stay in here all day with Chansey now. But, that doesn't really matter. I'm just gonna pass a wish off to my uh, Jellyfish Pokemon. And see how much Choice Specs Water Spout is gonna do to it. So I just passed the wish off. I know that he can't kill me with a thunder. I mean, if it did nothing to my physical wall, <laughs> it's not going to do anything to this guy. So Water Spout does just over half. And he hits me with a thunder, which sucks, so I can't really kill it with another Water Spout. And to boot, he gets the Power Hacks. So this was sort of annoying. Anyway, I go for Water Spout again, just, you know, because <laughs> I can. Anyway, I go to my Gliscor now, just, you know, block thunder and bait him into using an Ice Beam, because I... Right now, I want to try to uh, stall out his Ice Beam PP, so I can go into Gliscor and he can't hurt me at all, and if he poisons me, obviously, I'll heal every turn. There, he toxics me again! Oh my god, this is moving fast! And I go back out to uh, this guy to pass the wish that I just put up. So now I'm back at full health, and he pretty much... Uh, I think he's out of Thunders at this point, so he pretty much can't touch me. Anyway, this is the rest of the battle. Stall, stall, stall. Surf, recover, surf, recover. I'm waiting for a crit. Uh, a lucky para hacks. Uh, I'm uh, waiting for him to run out of recovers. He can't really hurt me with anything. Thunder missed, thank God. So eventually he's gonna run out of run out of recovers, and eventually I'm gonna win. But you know, Star Wars are always fun. So anyway, it seems that we have a speed tie, and whenever I get him down to KO range, he wins the speed tie and heals again. So it's just so frustrating. Anywho, um, wins the speed tie again, but I don't think it would have KO'd him that turn. So I'm just spamming Surf, uh, waiting for him to run out of recovers, or get paralyzed, or anything, something, please, this is ridiculous. So I'm, I'm thinking that that Porygon 2 also has the Evolution Stone item, just because of, well, it's just such a beastly wall. This has shown me that I need a fighting type, like I really, really need a fighting type on this team. So anyway, he thunders me, how many PP does Thunder have? I thought it only had like five. I mean, how many times has he used it? So, yeah, I think he's out of Thunders by now, and I finally managed to kill him. Wow! I can't believe it! That was just the most epic Star War I've had. Probably the longest one I've had. Anyway, um, sorry for the rather abrupt ending there, but, you know, you sort of lose track when a battle's moving that fast. Anywho, I will see you guys next time with another... DS Wi-Fi Black Battle. I'll be uploading more frequently, hopefully. And, uh, let me just share this one tidbit with you. Freaking Chinchilla Pokemon are awesome!